One of the most powerful ways that you can create mid-journey prompts is using ChatGTP. In this video, we're just gonna look for some inspiration from ChatGTP to help us come up with stuff for mid-journey. We don't have a specific image type in mind. We just wanna tell ChatGTP how mid-journey works and then have it come up with some cool ideas. If you have ideas already and you wanna have ChatGTP create prompts for you, then check out the video in the card up above after you watch this one. This one is just for inspiration. So the first thing you wanna do is head over to ChatGTP, paste in this prompt right here. You can find this on my website. It's linked to in the description down below. Basically, this is saying, do you understand how Midjourney works? And we're gonna paste in some of the details from Midjourney. So we have the Midjourney prompts, which is instructions on how to create a prompt. I'm just gonna copy and paste everything in here. And then I'm gonna head over to explore prompting, also Midjourney page, copy everything in here and paste that in, then hit enter, and hopefully we get this answer. Okay, I understand. Now the second part is we're gonna give it some prompt examples. This part is not totally necessary because it kind of understands Midjourney now based on what we told it, but I like to give some examples just to tailor the prompt design to what we have here. You can copy and paste these, these are on the website as well, or like I said, you can skip this step. Prompt one, a stylized photo of a bee on a flower, natural light, and a bunch of information and parameters. Prompt two, basically same structure. We have the image we wanna create first, some details about how the image is created, and then some parameters. We don't always have parameters like we see in the last one here. Going to end with please say yes if you understand these parameters. If you don't do that, it might just end up summarizing these prompts or trying to improve on these prompts, which we don't want it to do. Now that ChatGTP knows what it's doing, we're gonna ask, for inspiration, basically. Now I'm gonna say, now pretend you're a professional mid-journey prompt engineer. Please create descriptive prompts that include parameters, lighting cues, camera settings, or painting styles. Please don't provide extra details because chat GPT can often go off on a tangent. So hit enter. And as I was saying at the beginning of the video, this is for inspiration. So it's gonna come up with things to create. If you have a specific idea in mind already, you'd wanna watch the other video referenced earlier, still in the card up above, and link to in the description down below. So for some inspiration, let's just copy this prompt right here. They all look pretty solid. Imagine prompt and golden retriever running on a beach at sunset. Those look pretty spectacular. Let's try another one. Let's do the ethro photograph of a forest. I'm gonna add a parameter in here. Aspect ratio 16 by nine. And again, those are pretty awesome. So the way I would use these for inspiration is if I really like the results of that one, I'm just gonna copy and paste it again and change an ethro photograph of a forest clearing during a foggy morning to an ethro photograph of Batman in Gotham City and hit enter. I gotta say, those results are pretty amazing. So that's how I'd use this for inspiration. Basically, we're creating some generic style prompts that ChatGTP is just inventing as it goes. And then if we like the look of it, we can then adapt it to whatever we want the photo or painting or illustration to be. Next up, check out this video. If you already have an idea of what you wanna make for your mid-journey prompt, but you don't want to use this way of creating it in ChatGTP, this video is for you. This shows you how to take an idea you already have and create various prompts in ChatGTP you can try out in Midjourney. So make sure you check out that video. And if you haven't done so yet, make sure you click subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss any future videos. So my name is Bjorn from the AI Underground. Till next time, keep crushing it and I will see you in the next video.